what's up, gentlemen? So your body language and the nonverbal communicating that you're doing on a daily basis is letting the world know what you are all about. If you're sending the right message, good news. You're going to get more jobs, more opportunities, and more spicy senoritas are going to be like, damn, son, you want to make out? But on the flip side, if your body language is wrong or you're making some of the nonverbal mistakes we're going to go over today, unfortunately, you're going to miss out on a lot of opportunities. Today, guys, I'm going to help you with some of the biggest body language don'ts I don't want you to ever, ever do. The first and most common body language mistake that you guys are making, we all do it, right? Has to do with our cell phone. Our phones are unfortunately causing us to make a lot of body language mistakes, all right? Some of the more common ones. When you're in a group having a conversation, if you get a call or a notification, the worst thing you can do is to actually pull out your phone right there, look respond or do whatever. Your focus is here as opposed to here. They feel like you don't give a shit about them. Another mistake that we make with our phones is always pulling it out when we're just waiting, right? Instead of standing there, making eye contact and communicating with others and engaging to strangers or those spicy senoritas that might be checking you out, instead, you're on your phone. Take this, gentlemen, and put it away. Which brings me to the next body language mistake, and that is your walk, right? Your walk is whack, gentlemen, all right? The deal is, you don't want to walk with little short steps. It looks like you're scared. It looks like you got to pee. You shouldn't walk looking down. You shouldn't walk super big and fast. You need to slow it down and walk like an alpha, gentlemen. Chest up, shoulders back. Nice, confident. Yeah, a little, little shoulder roll. Did you see that? Confident. Looking people in the eye, which brings me to the next mistake, not looking them in the eye. Or looking them in the eye too much. It's a birthmark. Everybody knows that you got to look people in the eye, right? If you're not, if you're avoiding eye contact, Contact, what happens is other people see you as shifty, as shady, and they don't trust you. You also look super weak and insecure. But on the flip side, you also don't want to be a, a stare, right? Lock and load in. Like that also makes people feel a little bit weird if they feel like you can't shake them. Three seconds, gentlemen. One, two, three. Look away. Back. One, two, three. Break gaze. One, two, three. Gentlemen, it's about making contact without being weird. Speaking of weird, how's it feel when I'm super like up in your business, as in your personal space? The answer is not very good. It doesn't feel good for you. It doesn't feel good for them. Some people are totally oblivious to the fact that they are space invaders. How are you going to fix it, gentlemen? Right here. Arm's length. That is the appropriate distance that you should be when talking or communicating with somebody. You should be able to reach out and just lightly, do you see that? Give them a little woo -hoo. Yep, a little bit of woo woo <laughs> Don't do that. The next horrible body language mistake that is ruining your first impression is all about those hands, gentlemen. All right, so handshake, right? Whether or not you're shaking a hand with a man or a woman, you gotta shake it right and properly, all right? If you're a dead, weak fish, you look like a pussy. You grab it and try and manhandle, that's also making you look like a douche, gentlemen. It's about a proper, firm handshake. What I would recommend you do, guys, is practice. Practice with your dad. Practice with your mom. Practice with your weird Uncle Barry. Sure. <laughs> eh, maybe not. Maybe not Barry, because we know where those hands have been. Now, some other things you got to do with your hands. Keep them out of your damn mouth. Having your hands in your mouth not only is like super nasty in terms of unsanitary, if you're somebody that bites his nails, guys, bitten nails are one of the most unattractive things out there, all right? And they also send the subliminal message that you have like zero control. What I recommend, guys, is make sure that your nail game is strong, all right? I'm going to link to the Pete and Pedro manicure kit down below. It's got all the tools you need in order to have incredible nails, both on your hands, but also your feet. It comes with a bunch of tools. It comes with tweezers, nippers, clippers, scissors. This is a toolkit that I swear every single one of you needs. I'm going to link to it down below along with the discount code. Can I, can I, can I get a hug? Asking a girl for a hug is one of the cringiest things you could possibly do. Can I get a hug? <laughs> no, actually, yes, if you're my boy, which brings me to something we got to talk about. How do you give a boy, a dude, a hug that you like or friends with that you just haven't seen for a while or you're like, yo, what's up, bro? You know, how do you hug, right? Some guys feel weird about hugging other dudes. I say, huggeth the dude, but you got to do it right, all right? What I'd recommend is three seconds. You go in, one, two, three and release. No rubbing the back, no grabbing the booty, gentlemen. Unless you're into dudes, then grab the booty. But only go in for a hug if you know you don't stink, which is a huge nonverbal communicating mistake that a lot of you guys are making. You smell bad. Now, there are three areas that you're going to stink, right? Your breath. If you've got horrible halitosis, guys, this is a deal breaker. How are you going to know if your breath stinks? I've talked about this before. Take your hand, right? Lick it. Let it dry and sniff. How does it smell? If it smells good, you're like, yo, this 
that's fine. Then you're golden. But if you're like, not so much, then not so much. You got to make sure your oral hygiene game is strong. Also remember that a dry mouth is a stinky mouth. But if your balls are dry, that means they smell good. Bottom line, every single one of you needs to make sure that you're powdering your balls with a non-talc based powder. A little bit of this, right, in your hand, and then just, just, just dunk them. Dunk the junk, gentlemen. Rub it around a little bit. Get inside your thigh, right? And then up the booty crack. Because swamp bass is also something that is a deal breaker. If you get up, right, nonverbal communicating, body language, right? You get up and you got a wet streak on your ass, right? How sexy is that? The answer is zero sexy. Guys, simple solution. Every single day, every single one of you, a little powder. After the shower, you're good to go. Connoisseur. I consider myself a connoisseur of ball powders, which is why I knew I needed to create the best one on the market. And guys, I have crushed it. I have nailed it. Balls all around the world have never been fresher, have never been more friction free. And spicy senoritas have never been like, woo, you smell amazing more than now because of the powder. Gentlemen, if you want to check this out, once again, link below. There's also going to be a discount code. We got three options. We got fresh, we got frost, which is woo, a little bit cooling. And we've got un sent it. And the last reason you stink is you're wearing some type of overpowering body wash, fragrance, or cheap body spray like Axe or any of them <laughs> because they all, they all stink. Guys, the deal is if you're wearing too much fragrance, even if it's amazing and smells like Rebel, Pete and Pedro's incredible EDP fragrance that's inspired by Creed Aventus that everybody's been going crazy for because we sell this for under 50 and Creed literally sells for like $400 a bottle. Even if you smell amazing, like Rebel, gentlemen, it doesn't matter. If you're wearing too much of it, it's overpowering. An overpowering body wash or fragrance can be just as offensive as offensive like BO or body odor. Three squirts is what I'd recommend, right? You're still gonna be able to smell it without it punching people in the damn face. Gentlemen, speaking of punching you in the face, that's the next thing we gotta talk about. Fighting. If you're somebody that is getting into fights, right, fist fights or altercations, wrestling matches, right, there's a problem. And the problem is you, where you're hanging out with or who you're hanging out with. But Alfred, they were talking shit about my girl, right, saying she was hot and disrespecting me. They weren't disrespecting you. They were giving you a compliment. Whose junk is your girl sniffing? The answer is yours. If you're powdering those bad boys, gentlemen, don't worry about it. Don't get in fights. It's stupid. Speaking of stupid, we got to talk about how you're sitting stupid because a lot of you are sitting there all hunched over, right? Bad. Gentlemen, it's like walking, right? Sitting, same thing. Chest up, shoulders back, right here. But notice my feet. They're super together. That's actually not necessarily a good thing, right? A little wider. If you're looking to take up a little bit of space because you're manly, you're alpha, and you want to let everybody know you're manly and alpha, you got you to you gotta take up a little space. There's nothing wrong with a little, little man spreading action, all right? Something else, gentlemen, when it comes to crossing your legs, if you're crossing your legs like this, this is a more feminine way of sitting, all right? If you want to cross your legs, something like this. But let's talk about your arms in terms of crossing because you should never do it. Instead of here, you're here or even here, right? Gentlemen, it's about open body language. Now, something else that's about open communication and body language is actually smiling, which is another huge nonverbal communicating mistake that you're making, and that is you're not smiling enough. Smile, gentlemen. Your smile is one of the most powerful nonverbal communicating tools that you have. If you're not smiling enough, guys, or at people, unfortunately, you're missing out on a lot of opportunities because we feel close. We feel like we want to engage with people that are friendly. People that smile are viewed as more charming, more friendly, and more more open to talk. Now, the question is why? Why are you not smiling? You got a little snaggle tooth, a gap, like you're missing teeth or yellow, like whatever. The fact is you can fix it and it is absolutely worth you saving the money and doing what you need to do in order to get a smile that you're proud of. And the last don't is don't dress horribly, all right? Because whatever your body language is, if you're dressed in a manner that looks sloppy or like you didn't think about it, unfortunately, people aren't going to give you the respect or pay attention the way that they should if you were dressed well with intention with style purpose. Gentlemen, you are amazing. Now, hopefully your nonverbal communicating that you're doing is better and you don't look like a weirdo. <laughs> hey.